Sorry, creators. Game down. Game down. Game down. Sasta. I'm so obsessed with my hair. I got home to a delivery from my faves, Batong. <laughs> I'm on antibiotics, gents. Botesia. Botically. How? Wouldn't you share that with your friends? <laughs> but at least it comes. Hey. <laughs> you guys are mean, man. It's really hard, okay? So I'm gonna leave that, baby. Ha! Ha ha! Y'all wanna come for us on this one, okay? All right. Hey, Luna, a little rest, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, everybody, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Katleo from the Just Katleo channel. As always, thank you so much for subscribing and choosing me over and over again. And if you haven't, wait until the end of this video. And if you like the video, please subscribe and join the family. I also have a membership space where you can find a bonus extra content from me, from vlogs to my favorite things, to exclusive like trips and events and to my mental health stuff. There's a lot of stuff on there and there'll be a lot more to come this year and it's only 40 bucks a month. So your choice, you wanna do it, I don't wanna do it. Um, it's three extra videos from me each month, so your choice. Anyway, so we're here to do the Roast the Creators video. Part three. <laughs> this is the third one, and as expected, I knew you guys would come for us, and that's fine, but I, I, I would also like you to know that we're going to have an adverse version of that. Okay? Yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway, it's all in good fun. I really hope you do understand that. It's all in good fun. As you already know, I am a creator. So I'm going to say some things in this video where I'll be like, Ah, Marka is not fair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and fight for my creators. However, I'm open-minded. I'm willing to hear the chats. I'm willing to hear the chats. You guys talked about how you don't like us brushing our teeth on camera. I heard that chat. I heard that chat and I respected it. So <clears throat> let's, let's get into the video. I don't even want to waste time, bro. You see, the first comment is so nice already. It's just, ah, shame. No complaints. Bayaza, Mayaz. Thank you. It's really hard, okay? YouTube travel vlogs that are three months late. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm not gonna try and defend the creators because this is your platform this is where you speak and this is where we listen as creators because i really hope that other creators are actually watching this so that they can see you know just just know the grievances we are sitting it's a round table discussion and you are sharing your qualms and we are listening and willing to rectify. <sighs> it's not a hearing. It's not a disciplinary hearing, I it? <laughs> because y'all are wild. But okay, that, 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 that's not fair. But at the same time, you also have to remember, cre you know what I'm talking calmly, I'm not fighting. At the same time, you also have to remember that creators have a lot of campaigns, they've got a lot of other things that they're probably doing. They've got school, they've got work, they've got, other campaigns, other things that are more pressing and have deadlines. And maybe they are working with another hotel and they have been contractually bound not to share any other travel content about hotels or traveling for the first three months. So they can only share their travel vlog after that three months. So there's actually a lot behind the creator space that um, sometimes you, we get contractually bound. Um, when I'm shooting certain um, 
uh, uh, videos or whatever for certain brands, I'm not allowed to wear the colors of the competitor brands. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there's certain things and I'm not allowed to work with the company in the same industry, same, you know, same thing. I'm not allowed to work with them for the first two months after the campaign has ended. So, and also of course during the campaign. So there's a lot of... I mean it, but I hear you chat. I know it sucks to wait, but at least it comes. Um, pushing bad narratives about other people and behaving like saints. It takes two to tango. How? True. I cannot take that away from you. That is absolutely true. Now, I don't particularly um, follow a lot of, <laughs> religiously follow a lot of South African content creators. They are my certain creators that I follow religiously and I watch all their videos and this and that and the other. So I'm also not familiar with any dramas that happen or this person's not talking shit about this person, but then they were friends or this one's unfollowed this one. It only happens when I watch like a video by Owami or by Sims Wright. Well, I'll be like, ooh. Oh, unless my sister is involved or <laughs> maybe I'm involved. Maybe I'm still yet to get involved. I don't know. But um, you're right. Nobody's a saint. There's always, always, always um, two sides to every story. So I'm going to leave that, baby. Y'all are hungry and you haven't eaten all day and so what do you want libatla di metal how about home sometimes we're hungry and we haven't eaten and we're just sharing <laughs> we're not saying that to get a medal i live still alone man how wouldn't you share that with your friends Huh? Can't you tell your friend or your friend told me? You told me I'm hungry. I just told you the whole day. Ah, Mara. I'm a little bit like a little bit of 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 a Can't relate. Can't relate. I inter if there's one thing I'm brilliant at is interacting with my followers. However, guys, sometimes it <sighs> I'm just tired. No, <laughs> I'm not even gonna explain that. I'ma let you have it. I'ma let you have it. Mm. Not everyone saying I'm lactose intolerant. You are Avli. Yo, me, I love my milk, chef. Let me just have a sip of this because it's hot. I'm on antibiotics, gems. Potasia, potikali. <laughs> Constant use of the word obsessed. And I got home to a delivery from my faves. Batong. <laughs> See, free HSS. So, who's the free HSS? HSS. 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 Okay. 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 I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you the obsessed one. I'm going to give you that because I constantly use essentially. For me, I don't know. Even when I talk, I use just talking, just generally, not even filming or anything like that. I use essentially far too many times. There really isn't a necessity for me to use this word as much as I do. Some people just say obsessed. Uh, I'm so obsessed with my hair. I'm so obsessed with my t-shirt. I'm so obsessed with my nails. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with them. It is a little bit cringe. <laughs> it is a little bit cringe. I can't, I can't give you that. Content creators, if you're listening and you're obsessed. Why are you so obsessed with me? Unfinished TV caps. Recaps. 
unfinished TV recaps. I am taking this personal. In fact, I'll take it up with Naledi. Give us a full season recap. Why don't do that? So I'm gonna let you have it. I don't do TV recaps. My sister does. You can take it up with the sister. You can take it up with the girl. You can take it up with Conquer Girl. Okay? Uh, why do female YouTubers call their subbies my loves? It's so annoying. Personally, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Personally, I hate it. Yo, now my people, I call them the Chapisi. I call them the Chapisi Taka or the JK fam. And I hardly ever say it. I hardly ever say it. I'm just like, hey, y'all. What's up, buddies? Da -da -da -da, the Chapisi Taka. That's it. My loves, I cannot stand. In fact, there's something that seems just so um, disingenuous about it. But maybe sometimes... People, there are people who just say my loves, like my dolls or my, my darlings or my whatever. There are people who just generally say it all the time. But for me, my loves, or maybe because when I say my love, I'm saying it to someone whom I love, right? Like my sister or my love, my lover or whatever. So, so it seems a little bit disingenuous because, especially when you have thousands of people who are following you, are you telling me all those people are your loves? So I... I hear it. I'm gonna give you that. Sorry, creators. Game down. Game down. Game down. <laughs> they announced that they're taking a break from social media or deleting social media. Just go and come back when you're ready, man. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. Mm, guys, I think I think I'm so mm. I think I'm so Guys, I mean, <laughs> we're just trying to be professional. <coughs> and here's the thing about that, okay? Let me have my drink because I almost choked. I can't say how much it is, but they're unboxing it. <laughs> Whoo, yes, because I think it is only fair that if you're going to unbox something, you have to tell people what the price is. If people want to buy it, obviously if they see something Gucci, Louboutin, Prada, whatever, blah, blah, blah. If they see something like that, they obviously know that the price is gonna be relatively quite high. So there are people probably who follow you who can afford it either way and might like whatever it is you're unboxing and would just like to know what the price is. Also, it's not even that deep, I feel like, if you want to know what the price is, you can just Google it. As long as the, the creator has given the name of the shoe or the bag or whatever. Um, but yes, I do think the whole purpose of an unboxing is to give as much detail as you can about whatever it is you are unboxing. And this is a gift. And um, to tell people how much it is. Down, 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 creators. That one I can't support you in. No, no, ma'am. They know their audience, kiddie students and young professionals starting life, but they love to show, to shove luxury in their faces. Oh, down our throats. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's, she's mad, mad. She's buku mad. Okay. Okay, I have a sister who does luxury in boxing. Okay, they know their audience, kitty students and young professionals starting out, but they love shoving luxury down our throats. Um, Moto Abue about affordable perfumes at 4K. At 4,000. I'm so tired, child. I would, I'm so tired. I'm really tired. Okay. All right. All right. I know y'all can have that because... Yeah, for me, it's a preference not to show any of my luxury purchases, like my big purchases, like the expense of stuff. It's a personal preference. Um, but if I get a gift, like I got a gift from my sister and I shared that online because it was a gift. But with certain things, like maybe watches or bags or whatever that are, that are just expensive, I, I prefer not to share that information and that lady knows that so I don't film it at all. Um, but sometimes you just want to share, okay? 
<laughs> you guys are mean, man. You guys are mean, man. You guys are buku mean. I don't know. I don't. <sighs> it's a really hard one, that one, because I hear it. But we can't, as creators, also control the demographic. We can't control what ages people are when they watch us. Um, yes, a perfume for 4,000 Rand is not an affordable perfume. It is an expensive perfume. Um, yeah, I, I think maybe again, what must be considered is wording. I think certain creators need to just word things correctly. Um, just say that this is the perfume I got, love it so much, it's going for 4,000 Rand. Don't say this is the perfume I got, love it so much. And it retails for about 4K, so it's really not that bad. Ah! For who? What? Who? You been where? Where who? <laughs> if you know, you know. But I feel like it's a wording situation. I feel like you can't control what people want to share on their platforms, on their channels, on their Instagrams and all of that. However, I think it is the responsibility of the creator to be cognizant and aware of your wording, especially when you're going to be showing really pricey items for you to say, oh, I got it for 10K, it really wasn't that bad. Ma'am, putting a camera or phone in the fridge at the grocery store is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> this is one thing I agree with. This one I agree with because I find this so weird. You put the camera in the fridge, you open the fridge, you take whatever you take out, you close the fridge, or putting it in the grocery store, I find it so weird. I'm gonna give you that. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that. <laughs> Who sent this one? I really don't like it when creators lose themselves for views and follows, and this is true. Yup. I can't even laugh at this one, I can't even. They lose the core of you know, man, I don't want to come across as if I'm, I'm shading on anyone or whatever. When you started, you know why you started as a creator, right? You know why you started. You know um, what it meant to you to have a platform and to have people follow you and have people appreciate what you have to say and take your advice about certain products and whatever. And then once you get a large viewing or a large following and whatever, and that all kind of changes, then you start being attitudinal. Then you start going off at your subscribers, the very same subscribers that you needed at some point. Then you start having a look at one thing I'll never take away from creators is that we do need to defend ourselves. That's, that's just standard. Catch me several streets outside. I will defend myself. However, um, sometimes it's really just a genuine comment from a subscriber um, or a follower and the, um, the response by the creator will be very much unnecessary. There's a couple of South African creators that I don't follow anymore because of their attitude towards the people that they follow, uh, towards the people that follow them. Um, and genuinely, I wouldn't want to be around that kind of person just in life. So I don't see myself even following them online you know what i'm saying um so i totally get that sometimes people change because now their numbers are bigger now they have banalim sela basically banalim sela um they change gachale their money changes them and i've noticed that with a lot of south african creators that money changes them and therefore because of that i've also lost my interest in watching them um and, 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 but I'll never take it away from a creator to defend themselves. If somebody's being rude or if somebody's being careless in what they're saying to defend themselves, definitely I. So to defend, I will too. Um, when they promise to be consistent while they know that it's lies, can't relate. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah can't relate uh when they promise to be consistent while they know it's lies don't say anything to us i think so too rather as a creator 
not say anything at all rather than say that I know I've been gone for such a long time but I have to say something and I know I haven't been consistent and I know that I was saying that I was going to upload twice a week um, and I know that I was saying I was going to upload I get it, I get it it, it kind of gets tired and tedious after a while it does Just don't not checking their nose before vlogging not checking their nose their nose is something wrong with my nose I don't check my nose what's wrong with the nose? What's wrong with the nose? I need to, I need to WhatsApp some of my content creator friends. What's wrong with the nose? Oh my gosh. Fake giveaways. Wow. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Oh my God. What the hell are we gonna do now? Fake giveaway. That is messed up. I'm with you there. Lost to the influencers. That's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Ending friendships with other YouTubers, then pretending as if they never. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. Okay. All right. Let me let me just adjust myself right here. Ending friendships with other YouTubers, then pretending as if they never existed, expecting us not to wonder. Um, on behalf of the creators, I am going to say the creators do not own. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I hear your chat. But in truth, and let's let's tell each other the truth, chaps. Okay. Creators don't owe anyone any explanation about why their friendships end or why their relationships end. Yes, you are going to wonder. I think maybe the only thing that can be said is, yes, I'm not friends with this person anymore. Um, if, if people are asking about it a lot. Yes, this is true. However, it's one of the reasons why I don't actively uh, pursue relationships with other creators, friendships with other creators actively the ones i become friends with i truly become friends with them authentically like like sibu and 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 um uh, uh pemelo and paelo these are people that authentically behind the scenes no sipo no sipo uh, uh, um 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 i almost said no sipo tandal no sipo mhlanga these are people I actively became friends with behind the scenes and lunches would happen and you guys wouldn't know and this would happen and you guys wouldn't know and we wouldn't demonstrate it too much because then we avoid this kind of hair stuff. But I, I get it. I get it. You wonder, yes, but in truth and as stingy as that may sound and I don't mean it to come across as stingy, um, they don't owe you anything. In terms of, of, of saying, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Three content creators posting the same vacation content. Come on now. <laughs> okay, I know it. I know it. It tends to be a bit tedious, especially if we're going to both do a room tour of the same room. Really? I mean, we can easily just say, um, if you want a room tour of the room, go over to Naledi's channel and you'll see it there. So I do get it. I do get it. But I, I think the reason for that is you get different perspectives from each of the three content creators. Um, you'll get Naledi who is super hilarious and Naledi will eat on camera while she's on holiday. And Naledi will do this, this, this. And then you'll have me who will just show the more aesthetic things about the holiday, you know, the views and where we go and this and this. Not to say my sister doesn't show it, but people watch different creators for different reasons. So, ow. I know it kind of sucks because you're seeing the same room and you're seeing the da -da -da. but come on now. But I hear the chat. Uh, they ghost us on YouTube with no explanation, come back six months later and continue with content like normal. This is the opposite of what we were saying earlier. But I... Uh, okay, I get it. I get it. How much do you make on YouTube? How much do you make at your job? Don't do that. No. Like there are some creators, I'm sorry, no. That's, 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 uh, it's a little bit tacky. Uh, unless I choose to disclose that kind of information as a creator, 
it's fine. But we know that even in IRL, in real life, we don't talk about, we don't have conversations like that. So I find that quite disrespectful. Sauls. You once mentioned on your channel before, but like when they act like they're all friends. Yeah, I don't like that too. That's a bit tacky for me. There's being friendly. There's being friendly. But hey friend, calling each other friend. Hey friend, oh friend, uh -uh, for the camera. And then once the camera stops rolling, they're not talking to each other. This is a conversation that I would have a lot with Tato Fox. And we talk about how pretentious creators are in, um, um, at events. Very pretentious. Give off this, we're all friends, it's all a good time. Why is my arm sore? We're all friends, it's all a good time, blah, blah, blah. And then once the camera stops rolling, boom. They don't even say goodbye to each other. They don't even know. I can see you because I recognize you at an event. I'll be like, hey, how's it? How are you doing? Nah, it's good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Keep it moving. And I'll chill and hang out with someone who is my friend. Or someone I can get on with, generally. But, um, yeah, it's weird. The child, the churl and purr, sana. This churl and purr and sana era, we are tired. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't even, I don't, and that's on purr? Is that what it is? <laughs> when they put in too many of those funny videos in between every sentence or comment, I feel like this lady is coming for me because when I do candid with cats or unpopular opinions or whatever, I always put in the funny memes and the jokes and whatever. Uh, most people love that. They love it. They're like, oh my God, I need your meme folder. This is so funny. The memes are so funny. And then you have that one or two odd people that don't enjoy it. And then you kind of have to weigh things as the creator or do I keep them in for most of the population or do I listen to one or two people? You know what I'm saying? Some things you're going to lose, some things you're going to win as a creator and as a follower and as a subscriber. And it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to be out of power in the next 15 minutes. So thank you very, very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for watching Roast the Creators. Thank you for choosing me over and over again. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. There's a lot of lifestyle, uh, mental health, and just real life content here. We have a really good time here. And as I always say, there is also a membership space. If you want to see an extra two or three videos from me each month, then you can find them on there for just 40 bucks a month. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, until then, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Would love to have you here. Until then, until the next one, I'll see you soon. Bye.